going to show you how to make this fun slider card. I've started by using the Christmas Bliss stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. It's not available in any of the catalogs. It's separate. And I'm going to start by uh, using the scallop tag topper punch. And I'm just going to go ahead and place my four and a half by four piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. And I'm just going to scoot that all the way in to the top. Make sure that that's even, equidistant on both sides. And I'm just going to punch. And then I'm going to just cut away the two little tabs here. And then I'm going to use the new Project Life Corner Rounder, which I love. It makes perfect round corners. And then I have done that on the card as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp the card with some stars just all around randomly. Mostly around the edges because that's what you're going to see. So there's my stars. And then I have a little template guide. And I'm going to use my word window punch to create the grooves which the top piece is going to slide on. So I'm going to place the word window punch all the way in as far as it can go. Punch once and scoot it over and punch again. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Same thing. Punch it. Scoot it all the way in, then punch it, scoot it over a little bit, and punch it again. So we have our little guides, and then I'm going to punch out. I've already punched out two three-quarter circles, and I've got the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on there. The Stampin' Up! Dimensionals work perfectly. Their little hexagon shape creates two perfect edges right here that this little thing can slide on. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of place that down a little bit, get that ready. Before I do that though, I'm going to stamp the saying to put inside. Have yourself a little merry little Christmas. It's never too early to make Christmas cards. And then I'm going to stamp the trees behind them. Cute little trees. And then we're just going to go ahead and put that in the middle. So that's just going to go right in between. You want to make sure it's not too long. If it is, you want to trim it because you want those two tracks to be completely clear. So I'm going to place that about right there. Okay. And then next we're going to stamp Christmas Bliss with Lost Lagoon. We're just going to be careful with the photopolymer stamps. Oh, it looks like I have a little piece of hair or something in there. So we're going to try this again on the other side. There's always the other side. There we go. And then we're going to do the ornaments on top in pear pizzazz. And then I've punched out a couple stars with the star punch and the silver glimmer paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the stars. Those are kind of fun. They add some sparkle. You can just put them wherever you'd like. Or if you had a boo-boo on the Christmas part, you could place them somewhere to cover that little boo-boo. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and put this on top. This is going to be our piece that slides, so now we can remove the top of the dimensionals. And then we're going to make sure that they're level and even so that when it slides, it's sliding similar. We're just going to place this in the middle. I adhere that, and then now it slides. And then for fun, I've got some ribbon cut out. So I have four pieces of ribbon. I have two of the silver ribbon, and I have one of the smoky slate ribbon. And I'm just gonna slide that through the top here, all three pieces. 
and then I'm going to use the smaller ribbon to just tie them all in place. So we've got our three pieces here and then we're just going to hold them down and then tie this piece on. Right there. Okay, and we have this kind of fun going here. I'm going to do a double knot, so one more time. So we have our fun slider card. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial.